Joining me now is Isaac, Head of Operations of African Fashion Week Toronto. Isaac, thank you for joining us here today. Thank you for having me. Uh, so tell us, what is African Fashion Week Toronto all about? African Fashion Week Toronto is actually it's a platform that's created to support um, the African-inspired fashion industry, you know, give them uh, a place where they can showcase the new collection and that kind of stuff, and also educate, you know, the fashion world, the public, about, you know, uh, what these African-inspired designers are all about. Okay, and uh, could you tell us about the event? What can individuals expect? Uh, there's a lot involved with the African Fashion Week, uh, especially the 2015. Uh, we start off, um, first of all, the date is uh, August 13th to the, the 16th. Okay. It's a four-day program, and we start off with um, a, uh, a media launch kind of networking party oh, wow. that happens at the Drake Hotel. Uh, runs from about 7 p.m. to about midnight. Uh, it's a very interesting place to be, you know, great place to network with, you know, fashion industry and that kind of stuff. Um, then we lead that straight into the Friday, which we usually do. Um, we have a student designer competition, which we do. It's a, it's, a, it's a platform we created, which is free for students, fashion students, to have a place to for them to show some of the, 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 the things they've learned in school, you know, show the, the, the progress and, and that kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's great because it creates like a support system for, for, for um, these new students, you know. Um, and then usually um, on the Saturday, which is the main day for us, we have three different fashion um, programs happening. Uh, each fashion program has about 15, I don't know, five to six designers, right. mm -hmm. which come from, they come from all over the world to, to showcase uh, this stuff, you know, to the, the, the Toronto market, you know, to showcase it to the media world and, you know, the, the, the people that love seeing fashion. It's a very diverse, usually when we say African fashion, we, people think that you have to be born in the African co uh, continent to be a part of it, but mm. it's really a diverse program that you know we invite everyone from every different parts of the world. I mean, last year we had designers from Pakistan showcasing that the African Fashion Week. Uh, we have some that come from the Caribbean, Bahamas, and that kind of stuff. So it's really for everybody. Hey, and uh, when it comes to African fashion, could you tell us about some of the fashion trends? Um, Usually, people when you say fashion trend for Africans, right. they think that it's just um, head wraps and you know some cloth on your skin and that kind of stuff. You know, mm -hmm. that's just like the the norm outside. But nowadays, if you, if you really if you look on on the net, even uh, you see that the African fashion trend has they have uh, the designers have uh, meshed the European style or the North American style while still maintaining that culture, the African culture within it. So it's very unique pieces that they can create with that. Okay, and uh, what can individuals expect in the near future for African fashion? Um, African fashion to me now I think is, is, is the new it, mm -hmm. right? Everybody's using it. Every fashion company, fashion designer, fashion uh, legend, they are incorporating this African fashion style, the African fashion print within their work. So I, th I look at African fashion within the next five years to probably be the most popular thing out there that, you know, you, you, f you finally see kids who are from other cultures just wearing an African mm -hmm. uh, inspired outfit right. and feel proud about it and feel good about it. And uh, what inspired you to get in, into fashion in the first place? Um, to me, I feel like fashion is life. Mm -hmm. Fashion is everything. Um, what what really inspired me to get into it is um, I felt that the African fashion industry in general um, didn't really get the necessary um, support or the necessary respect that it needed. Mm -hmm. So I felt something needed to be created. Mm -hmm. And also, like if you look at Toronto, despite the fact that Toronto is a very diverse community, mm -hmm. Um, like some of, the, some of the major fashion events that happen in Toronto doesn't usually include any kind of African inspired fashion in, in their stuff. So we felt that the time was now to, you know, give these um, designers the platform for them to showcase uh, to the world that they are here to stay and that they got some good products out there. Okay, and uh, why would you recommend African fashion to individuals? Um, I always recommend it because I feel like African fashion is life. It's uh, it's colorful. Like, mm -hmm. for example, the shirt that I'm wearing, it's uh, you know, it's not boring. 
Right. You know, it's it's life. It makes you smile. It makes it makes me happy when I'm wearing it. You know, like so, I recommend African fashion to um to to, to everyone um because especially the continent has some of the best materials out there. Right, and now that is being incorporated in the urban wear or the couture wear and that kind of stuff, it's it's a great relationship. Okay. Yeah. And uh, for more information, where can we go? Um, we have a website, uh, www.afwt.ca. Uh, we also have we we are on every social media platform, uh, Instagram, we're African Fashion Week on Facebook, African Fashion Week TO. Um, um, yeah, YouTube, where, wherever, wherever you can think about social media, we're there. Online, you know, so yeah, it's easy to find us. Okay, so everyone, look forward to African Fashion Week Toronto uh, coming up in August. Awesome, and I wanted to add one yeah. thing. Okay. Um, on the on the last day, which is the Sunday, the August sixteenth, we have uh, the African Fashion Industry Awards. Which we do to kind of end the festivities. Mm -hmm. um, we celebrate achievement in the in the industry. Um, that platform is actually not. It doesn't. It doesn't only focus on the African designers. It's um, for more more of a pan African thing. Mm -hmm. So we you know we recognize people within a, a, a huge grasp of of uh, communities and kind of you know uh, just show them that we we are here we see what to do and we do appreciate it and we want to make sure they understand that you know this is a support system which is us right. um so yeah so uh, i'd love to see everybody attend that also okay well thank you isaac for joining us here today awesome thank you for having me and uh so look forward to african fashion week toronto coming up in august august 6 august 13th to 16th do not forget now back to the studio